What's up everybody? Tony Gaffney here. Uh, I'm here for you guys. So anything you guys want to know, I'm looking forward to, to answering some questions on Facebook Live today. Okay, before uh, you're going to answer some questions, I want to show you uh, two pictures. Me, Tony Gaffney, bo נעשה היכרות קצרה עם טוני גפני. בן 33, נולד בבוסטון, הוא נולד בבוסטון. כן, רק בבוסטון. רק בבוסטון, ובאותו מקרה, אתה נראה כמו שאתה 17. אני הייתי 17. אתה היית 17. כן, זו אחת מהפקרות הכי טובות. זה היה מצחיק, בזמן הזה, אני ידעתי שאני הייתי נראה את הגבוהה שעמדת לי. כל אחד היה נראה לי. כל אחד היה נראה לי, והם חשבו שאנחנו נראה לי. It took us a long time, but uh, obviously she looks as beautiful as always there. I look a little uh, awkward in my high school days, but um, yeah, it's uh, one of my favorite pictures that I have. Let me do a, a little translation, but we are looking at Tony. This is your high school prom. High school prom, yes. This is the first time of the high school prom, which was for 15 years, and they are still together, they are still ואפילו עם איזו תוספת אה, קטנה ובלונדינית למשפחה. בואו נראה את התמונה הבאה עם, עם התוספת. טוני... 15 שנים שנולד פה בארץ, לנדון הקטן שנולד בירושלים בקדנציה הקודמת של טוני פה, טוני. Finally, uh, legally tied the knot. Feels like we've been married for a long time, but uh, yeah, the little the little guy there, he is our world, and uh, yeah, it's one of uh, it's also one of my favorite pictures uh, as well as my wife. Tony, trip to Nabe, Japan. He came to us for a couple of days. We're going to ask some questions that we found on the Facebook page of our Facebook page. Okay. Okay. The floor is all yours, so ask as you may. I'll answer any questions you guys got. Tony, no, 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 Uh, the the last part of my ninth year uh, as a pro, I've played all over the world. I've had cups of coffee in the NBA uh, with the Celtics, the Lakers, uh, I guess you could say half a cup of coffee with the Grizzlies. Uh, I played three years in Germany for Alba Berlin and uh, Telecom Baskets Bonn. Uh, I played in Spain with uh, Joventut uh, Badalona. I played uh, here in Israel. I actually started my career with Galil Gilboa. Uh, I played two years with Apoel Yerushalayim. And now I am playing, uh, obviously, with Apoel Tel Aviv. Uh, I played in Turkey for a little while with uh, Turk Telecom. I'm probably leaving some of them out because it feels like there's so many of them. But uh, yeah, it's been an amazing, rewarding career. And I've got to see the world and do something that I absolutely love. And, uh, I love doing it for the fans mainly. Uh, I feed off energy from the fans. I've been that way for nine years. So, uh, yeah, it's something that makes me want to wake up every day and continue to play. I feel it out in my translation. Tony Avar, באמת אמור אמור לפוצות בקריירה, מסחק אמור בישיל אורדים, בעצם נעזר אמור אמור באנרגיה של הקהל שעוזר לו. התחיל את הקריירה המקצוענית שלו אחרי הקולג' בבוסטון, בלייקרס. עבר בטורקיה, טורק טלקום, בספרד, בבדלונה, בגרמניה, אלבה ברלין, פועל ירושלים, גלבוע גליל למשחק אחד קצר, שלרוע מזל הוא שבר את הרגל ונאלץ לסיים את העונה. והשנה אצלנו, you missed Chiba already. התחיל את העונה כמו שאמרנו בצ'יבה, שלושה חודשים. הגיע אלינו, אנחנו שמחים שהוא פה איתנו.
Uh, okay, it's been a, it's it's a little long, so you don't see it. But time for Apollo Jerusalem. You can get you played here. Um, was there any is there any help from the experience you you had here, playing in front of our crowd, to come back from Japan and play for us? Um, coming into this arena as a guest was yeah I, I won a decent amount of games here as a guest but I was it was brutal um, it was never an easy game uh, you know we had some very very good teams in uh, Hapo Yerushalayim uh, but it was it was always a battle I think uh, in my two years there we probably played Hapo Tel Aviv I probably played Hapo Tel Aviv 13 times and uh, there was never a blowout it was always uh, within a five-point game um, so now coming back here uh, and it being my arena, uh, be, uh, you know, being a part of the home team, uh, it's a little bit better. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, you know for sure every day you come to work uh, and those lights go on, the, the fans are going to give you 100% here of what they got and uh, it makes it easy to give 100% of what you got uh, in return. It doesn't always mean you, at the end of the day you're going to win every single game, but it makes makes it a heck of a lot easier doing everything you possibly possibly can to win the game. Nit, you're going to do it. Tony, from the Zikaron, you're going to play for something like 13 times against the Apollo Tel Aviv. In the world, there was no blowout or a blowout. He's going to play for a brutal in English. In English, it sounds a little bit better, but it's definitely a blowout and a blowout and a blowout and a blowout that were here. ובאמת שהאורות פה בעולם נדלקים, ככה הוא מתאר. אין לך שום אפשרות אלא לבוא ולתת 100% מהמשחק. אוקיי, I know it, but I want all the fans to know it. You met Kobe? Yeah. And what happened? Um, the first time I met him was uh, after Summer League. I got invited to the uh, vet camp, which is the whole roster. And then they invite three guys that they're considering adding to their roster for the year. Um, you go through the preseason. Uh, you, if you're lucky enough, you get into the preseason games. You play. You're, you're a part of the team. Um, but when I first got there, it was bef they had just come off winning a championship. Uh, and, you know, for me, an uh, incoming undrafted rookie, it was important that I was one of the first guys there, reported early for vet camp, uh, while well, most guys were still on their vacation. Um, so the first day I get there, I think it was uh, maybe mid-September, mid-early September. Um, and I walk into the practice facility in El Segundo and I hear basketballs bouncing on the court and you know I'm thinking maybe it's just some local guys that they allow to use the gym or maybe some of the rookies that they drafted where they're getting their work in. Um, so I'm in the locker room, I'm changing and I hear the first of the two doors to get into the locker room open and in runs in Kobe. So I'm like uh, kind of taken back on this uh, you know rookie out of uh, University of Massachusetts. Uh, for me, it was like uh, coming from a uh, completely green state, but the Boston Celtics were what we lived and died. And, you know, uh, being signed by the Lakers was kind of, uh, you know, it took me about a day to fall in love with the Lakers as well. But uh, it, so, you know, I see Kobe run in and he's like, he comes over to me, shakes, shakes my hand really quick, uh, he daps me up and then he runs into the bathroom and says, I gotta, gotta go to the bathroom. So I was like, all right, so I kind of like sit down, I kind of register what just happened. He comes back out and he goes, uh, he go, asks me where I'm staying at, we have some small talk and he's like, all right, he's like, uh, come, out to, you know, come out to the court when you're done. I'm like, okay, so I'm still sitting there. I think I grab my phone afterwards, I immediately text my agent to like tell him like, yeah, that was uh, one of the craziest encounters that I didn't expect. Um, so sure enough, for the next like three weeks before camp started, I got to play one-on-one -on -one with Kobe. He told me here that I was a defensive stopper, a defensive All-American out of college, uh, and it was my job to stop him playing one-on-one. -on -one. Um, How did you did? I held my own. I mean, I had a lot of energy. I was, <laughs> yeah, he always gave himself different rules and guidelines as to how he was going to play each day. 
Um, but one guideline that never changed was I didn't get to play offense. <laughs> so, you know, for me, that was like, uh, I enjoyed playing defense, but it was, you know, everybody wants to shoot the ball every once in a while. When you're a kid, you don't set up cones, running around cones, doing defensive slides, no. imagining that you're Dennis Rodman in the uh, driveway. You act like you're Jordan, you act like you're Kobe, you act like you're Paul Pierce, uh, taking fadeaways at the buzzer to win. Um, so that was my first encounter with Kobe for a few weeks. I got to play one-on-one, -on -one, or as some call it, my, his sparring partner uh, with uh, one of the greatest of all time. And he taught me uh, so much more than I can ever really thank him for. Uh, and we don't, even, we, don't have a con we don't have contact today. I haven't spoken to him in Lord knows how long. But, you know, just that work ethic and seeing him, the work that he put in, and gave to the game of basketball, uh, and the game of basketball gave back to him. Um, being able to see that as a rookie firsthand, uh, really my first professional basketball experience was that. Um, you know, and, and you know, even growing up, I had told myself I was never going to let somebody outwork me. Uh, so each day, it was funny, after that, my agent was like, you know, you got to be the first one in the gym. And I was like, listen, I showed up at the gym at 7.30 in the morning, and Kobe was already here dousing sweat. I'm, you're, I'm not beating him here. It's not possible. Uh, he'd drop his kids off at school after working out at 8 a.m. We would have 12 o'clock practice, and he would come back to the gym at 10 to shoot to get more work in. Um, he's one of the hardest working, not just basketball players, one of the hardest working guys that I've ever been around. I'll translate it shortly. You, can you it's, translate it's that again. whole thing? <laughs> <laughs> no. No way. No way. Right, you can no leave way. A little bit no out. way. But I'll do my best. Can you translate it in Japanese? No. How do you say no in Japanese, Tony? You don't even remember? Don't I remember. Yeah, That's I don't remember. That's a good one. Uh, Tony Gaffney, Saper al Kaita Kashesha Vare Balekers, Sahat Mishtara Munima Kashar, Kobe Bryant, Otto Zahalif Gosha Hesher, Egiala Moadon Keruki, Masashilon from Badraft. טוני שימש כיריב האימונים של קובי, אחרי שבקולג' הוא נחשב לאחד משחקני ההגנה הטובים במדינה, ולמעשה במשך קיץ שלם ניסה לעצור את קובי בריינט, טוען שהצליח, אנחנו נלך איתו ונאמין לו. סיפר על זה שקובי בעצם לימד אותו הרבה על המשחק, איך אתה מכין את עצמך לעונה, מתאמן מאוד מאוד חזק, ובאמת הרגלי העבודה של קובי, להם הוא מודה שעל הצ'אנס שהוא נתן לו להתאמן איתו במהלך הקיץ הזה. טוני. אורן, פן נאם אורן, אמר, אתה הוא הנהל, וזה הנהל הכי טוב שהוא היה בשלושה שנים. So I have a question uh, regarding the end of the season. Um, do you think our roster is good enough or any changes should be making on the team? Uh, I believe we have one of the deepest sound rosters uh, in the league uh, with everything we have right now. Um, it's just going to, you know, I mean, this country knows how this league goes. It's the teams that, it's those four teams that can kind of uh, gel together come March, April, May um, that are the last four standing. And then anything can happen. And again, as everyone's seen in this league, uh, uh, you know, the format, the final four format, uh, you know, gives a lot of teams uh, possibilities. And I do believe that uh, the pieces that we have and the veterans that we have, uh, you know, are we have that potential. Uh, it's just going to be a matter of uh, everybody being able to put their own agendas aside and, uh, you know, putting the team before themselves and ourselves. And I think if, that's, if that happens and we're able to do that, then, you know, I think that honestly the sky's the limit with our team. But uh, there's a long way to go and that starts this weekend. It is starts this weekend. Tony, I'm going to talk about the risk of us to get a high level. He said that if we're going to be together and we're going to be רוח קבוצתית, יש לנו את הצ'אנס ואת היכולת ואת הכישרון לעשות את זה, וזה מתחיל כבר משבת, 6.40, קרב חשוב מול מכבי אשדוד. גרודר, יש לנו עוד שאלות מהבית? כן. שאלה של אוהד או אוהדת, חושב שזו את אוהדת, פן, נאם מאי, מה אתה מפרפר? סלאם דאנק או שוט? שוט? מייק? מאי, כמו במהלך, מאי. אה, מאי. 
Mike, appreciate the question. Um, I'm going to throw you a curveball, though. I prefer a block shot. Uh, anytime, I feel like a block shot is the most demoralizing play for an opponent on a basketball court. They feel like they got an open layup, you pin it off the glass, or they're going up for a dunk and you get your hand in there and swat it away. Uh, I think those are momentum changing plays, those are game changing plays. Uh, there's a lot of dunks throughout a basketball game, there's a, a lot of threes throughout a basketball game. Yeah, there can be a dagger three at a, time, at a specific time, but I think a block shot at any time uh, not only it takes away two points and gives you a chance for either a four or a five point swing, um, but again, I think the demoralizing uh, aspect on the opponent is by far the most significant, for me, the most significant and exciting part of uh, my game. So, I'm not sure what you're saying, not dunk and not slash, but just a block. אחד הדברים שהכי מורידים את היריב ובעצם מורידים לו את המורל ואת הרצון להתמודד. זה המהלך שטוען שגם הכי מטריף אותו. I got another uh, uh, question for you from a fan named Itai. Uh, which player would you play with or against? Uh, would you like to come, come play for you in a pool? If you had the choice. Wow, that, Itai, that's a great question. I never thought of that. Um, if I could pick one that I, in my entire career that I played with or against, I think I'd say Ray Allen. Ray Allen. I would say Ray Allen. Why? Uh, what was that? Ray Allen from Connecticut. Yeah, not from, well, from Connecticut, yes, but Ray Allen from the Boston Celtics. We, are the, we have the Israeli connection. Yeah? He played with Don Sheffer in Connecticut. Ah, so Don used to okay. play for Paul. So maybe we could get this happen, get this happening. I spoke to him while I was in Japan, actually. Uh, with Ray Allen. He wasn't willing to come to Japan. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, he, uh, his decision making, uh, Obviously, his shot-making ability, um, his professionalism, something I won't get into, but his view on politics are the same as mine. Um, that's for, we're not having that talk today. Um, but yeah, he's, uh, and he's, again, he's just one of the best professionals that I've ever been around. So he was kind of like a mentor that I did stay in touch with uh, throughout the years. So uh, I would say Ray. Ray Allen. A mentor. A mentor. Mishu just said they ask him. They ask for me to tell you. You got to pick a name that they have a chance to come and play for. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know. We brought Nate Robinson too. Yeah, that so is maybe, true. Maybe, I don't think anyone really thought Nate yeah, would be here. No one. But maybe like, where, where he can come. We have a question. We have another question from home. Ha! <laughs> Look who's here. <laughs> <laughs> Tomer knows the answer to this question. Who's the best passer on the team? Who is the best passer on the team? Tomer Ginat, the captain and the captain. You got a good answer? I am the best passer on the team. And if we ask, we, we ask another player, he said... <laughs> <laughs> no, the best passer on the team, I'm going to go ahead and say Daniel. I <laughs> Daniel, he's the best Man, passer. Man, from the post, he throws the fastest skip passes out of anyone I've ever seen. He, he'll be on the right block, he won't even look at you, but if you're playing weak side defense on the opposite side, you either need to wear a helmet or you just gotta take cover and duck. Because you got, he you got into basketball thing. sentences that I have a big difficulty to translate into Hebrew. Do skip best. pass, it's a skip I pass. I think Tomer understands what I'm saying. Oh, okay, no, but yeah, you know, we have the fans with us. דניאל איידן, דניאל איידן? I'm going with Daniel. דניאל איידן? I wish Daniel... עושה לטוב בקבוצה. I wish Daniel was sitting right next to me, because he would appreciate me saying this, you know? אני מקווה שטום, אני חושב שטום יכול, you know, watch his own home and... He'll appreciate this, okay. though. אוקיי, אוקיי. I'm gonna go with you. Yeah, we have a question. We have another one? A question from a fan named Elad. And how, do you, how do you explain uh, the instability in your games? You have like crazy games and the games that sh you're not influenced a lot on the court. Yeah, it happens. Uh, you play, well, I've played hundreds and hundreds of games in my career. I want to say thousands. I don't even know what the number is. Uh, I think I've played 44 games now this season, having played a ton in Japan and uh, yeah, it's that point of the season that you're going to have your big games and then you're going to have games that, uh, 
you know, you impact the game not necessarily on things that show up in a stat sheet. I've never been a player that has been, uh, you know, paid to play on teams because I, you know, score 20 points and 10 rebounds but don't do anything else on every night. Uh, yeah, I like to believe that I do a lot of things that don't always show up on the stat sheet. Uh, I can impact a game scoring seven points and having seven rebounds and blocking three shots but changing seven other shots. Um, and again, the, the 20 point games will come. I, they always have and they always will. Um, but I don't need to score big uh, to always impact the game. With that said, when we don't win and I don't, uh, you know, have big number of games, uh, that's when I kind of uh, lose sleep at night. So, but it's part of the job and it comes with the territory and you're going to have good days and bad days like you do in every line of work. Uh, at the end of the day, you still, you got to, you know, put yourself in a position to be successful and work as hard as you possibly can to do the things that you can to help a team win. So, we're going to turn the It's a good question. It is. טוני טוען שזה נכון, זה השלב הזה בעונה, הוא שיחק 44 משחקים גם ביפן, גם במדעי הפועל. טוען שלא תמיד הוא הרוויח את הכסף שלו בשביל לקלוע 20 נקודות ולקחת עשרה כדורים חוזרים, והתפקיד שלו זה לעזור לקבוצה לנצח בכל, בכל משחק, לאו דווקא בדברים שרואים בסטטיסטיקה, עם הרבה לב, עם בלוקים ושינוי זריקות, וגם משחקים של 7 נקודות ו7 כדורים חוזרים יכולים להספיק. משחקים שבהם הפועל מפסידה וטוני עם uh, מראה יכולת פחות טובה, זה אלו הלילות שבהם הוא uh, פחות ישן. הוא חושב שיכול לעזור, uh, היה יכול לעזור יותר לקבוצה uh, לנצח, וגם uh, המשחקים של ה-20 נקודות עוד יעברו, אז uh, יש, לנו, יש לנו למה לצפות. עוד שאלות? יש לכם עוד שאלות מהבית, מוזמנים. תקראו את שניר? יאללה, let's go. טוני, סופרייז סופרייז. יאללה. יאללה. אנחנו הולכים עכשיו לשחק עם טוני, משחק האסוציאציות שלנו, אנחנו זורקים לטוני מילה, עונה לנו בכמה מילים, משפט קצר, על דברים שהוא מאוד 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 אוהב. טוני, אתה מוכן? אני הייתי מוכן. יאללה, נתחיל. חברה. מה אתה עושה לך? אני וחברה. והם? הם אני מלחמה. בסקטבול. Love, I love that game. Next one, yes? You don't see it? No. New England Patriots. Greatest franchise of sports history. <laughs> I thought you were allowed to say that. I couldn't put that into one yeah, word. I know, I know. <laughs> Kobe Bryant. Hardest working professional I've ever been around. Yerushalayim. Birthplace of my son. And the opposite, Tel Aviv. Hopefully the next place of my uh, next championship. Where's the last one, Coach Franco? Almost the last one, Coach Franco. A uh, friend, a mentor, uh, someone I confide in. Number 14, Captain Limonad. Hardest working Israeli that I've ever been around and the toughest. <coughs> we have a question. Oh, we have a question from home? Uh, okay, a fan named Adi. He's asking, what do you think uh, our coach strongest strength and which coach has influenced you the most in your career? <coughs> our coach's biggest strength? Our coach's biggest strength. Uh, he knows how to communicate with his players. He knows when it's time to yell and he knows when it's time to uh, talk. He's, uh, yeah, and I've said that from day one. He also knows how to put a roster together that, uh, you know, maybe it doesn't always look pretty, but always finds a way to win. Uh, my two years having played for him, a uh, year that he tried to recruit me to go to Haifa and they actually won the championship there, uh, he always seems to put together a roster that at the end of the day um, is going to be there. So you may have your ups and downs throughout a season, it's long, but it's always, uh, it's always, the end result is always something that you can be proud of and it's always a group of guys that find a way to get there. 
Um, and the second question, the coach was influenced you the most in your career? Actually, it's a coach that no one probably has ever even known coached me. Is my dad. Uh, he coached me when I was younger uh, for a long time, even through he, he coached a year in high school. Uh, but he coached he co your high school team? Yeah, and he coaches me every day. I'll get out of a game. He, he, he knows, you know, we had a good win last week that we desperately needed against a tough Rishon team. And I didn't put up big numbers, but he knew how badly I wanted and mentally needed a win. Um, we had guys make really tough plays. He saw how hard that I played throughout the game, but he also knew I was going to be exhausted afterwards. Uh, and I can always count on him to tell me what I did wrong or where I screwed things up or where I uh, played great that doesn't show up in the stat sheet. And uh, he's probably uh, not just a basketball coach, but he's been my life coach. Okay. So I would definitely say my dad. אז אנחנו נתרגם את שתי השאלות של עדי, לגבי השאלה הראשונה על החוזקות של דני. טוני, נספר עליו גם מירושלים וגם כאן, שתמיד הוא יכול ליצור סביבו קבוצה טובה של אנשים, שגם אם הדרך לפעמים לא נראית הכי יפה, התוצאה בסיום היא תוצאה שאפשר יהיה להתגאות בה, וכך הוא מקווה שהוא יהיה גם השנה. הוא יודע מתי לצעוק ומתי לשחרר, ומתי ובעיקר איך לגשת לשחקנים ולדאוג שיבואו ב... גישה נכונה למשחקים. לגבי השאלה השנייה, המאמן שהשפיע הכי הרבה על טוני זה אבא שלו, שאפילו אימן אותו במשך שנה אה, בתיכון. אה, אני יכול לספר שאנחנו דואגים לטוני לכל משחק אה, שעולה, לשלוח לו את הלינק, הוא שולח אותו הביתה. You're there watches all the games. Yeah, always. During, uh, in YouTube, after... And if he's, yeah, if he's not able to watch live, uh, if he can't find the link, then he watches uh, probably watches. an hour later when I'm bothering you for yeah. the, uh, <laughs> you're for the link. You're not bothering me, that's my job. דואגים לשלוח לאבא של טוני את המשחקים המלאים, והוא יודע גם לתת לו בראש לפעמים, שצריך אם הוא עושה פעולות לא טובות. אז לא רק, לא רק מאמן שהשפיע עליו הכי הרבה, אני חושב שזה האדם שהשפיע עליו אולי הכי הרבה ב, בקריירה. כבודה? Thank you for the question, אדי. Yeah, we have... I'm gonna prepare you. Okay. You need to think. Okay. Like a little bit. Rafi Kodan answered this question. Who is this? Taluya. He's a fan of okay. ours. Why do hot dogs come in packs of 10 and the buns come in packs of 8? <laughs> <laughs> I told you, you have to think about it. This is a solid question. Very, 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 maybe one of the best questions that I've ever been asked. This is a Matt Howard type question. This is a Matt Howard type Matt of question. Matt Howard would ask, I want to say Matt Howard would ask me this question. And he would be I very, very proud of this I question. I can assure you he's not, but <laughs> when we do it with Matt, yeah. then yeah, it's a good tip. Is there a legit reason? Or oh, we don't know, because uh, is this like a... You need to come up with a reason. Oh, I, oh, um... It's, oh, I know why. Okay. Because back in 1973, when hot dogs were invented, he knew that in 2016, a gluten allergy would come and not all people that have a hot dog want a bun. So he said, let's throw two extras in there for those gluten freaks. <laughs> not freaks. <laughs> those gluten free eaters. Uh, so they can just have the hot dog. Brilliant. טוב, טוני טוען ש... You can't make this stuff up. טוני טוען... No, you can't. You just did. טוני טוען שאי שם שהמציאו את הנקניקיות, הבחור צ'יק שהמציא אותן, ידע שיהיו אנשים שיהיו רגישים לגלוטן, או שפשוט לא יאכלו מוצרים שכוללים גלוטן, ולכן השאיר שתי נקניקיות אקסטרה. On the side. Yeah. Brilliant. It's a great answer, huh? It is. Was his name Oscar Mayer? <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> no, they, they didn't they made the hot dog. Okay. Um, you know the drill we have? Uh, a, um, each, each home game, um, we host a guy, a parent, who was bringing the child the first game in here. They, uh, they visit you in the locker room. They ah, go with yeah, you yeah. to the... Um, yeah. When the announcer brings you onto the court. Yeah. And now we do it, the draw, on live. Ah, to see who's going to get it. Yeah, to ah, see who's going to cool. get it. Sweet. Okay. For this game, the big game for this weekend. Big game this weekend. On, on Saturday, Saturday yeah. 
6.40 Maccabi Ashdod. Oh, that'll be a good one for our first game for uh, a little... You know, we lost only long. once when we did it. Only once. Only one game. We lost to Ertelia. And that, was, that, wasn't, that wasn't the drawing's fault. That was, that was our fault. fault. So, this one, okay. we're going to have to get it back. Okay. You need to pick a number. A number between one, one, one to one. seven. One to seven. One to seven. And this is an obvious choice. It's an obvious choice. I have to say three. You have to. Because it's my number. It's your so number. I'm going to go with uh, Shalosh. Omer Yohananov, who was also a friend of mine. You remember, and you come with your son. It's always a connection. And we'll be happy to see you here in our first match. Shabbat, 640. חבר'ה הנרגשים מהעמותה, הצוות העשייה החברתית שלנו, אסי ועוז, ייצרו איתך קשר. כבר הערב, תכין את הילד, הולך להיות פה משחק נהדר. טוני, you meet the guy on Saturday. Yeah. עומר יוחננוב, uh, ידבר איתנו. And we have the last question before טוני... No, we're going there. A friend from Japan asking for the shooting challenge. Oh, okay, okay. Are you ready? You ready for the shooting challenge? Of course I'm ready. Tony, you know, we had like a lot of fans uh, from Japan uh, following you and us on like Twitter and Instagram. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's pretty cool. So you made a good you, impression. Anytime you can join... Uh, you made a good yeah, impression cool. while you were there. I enjoy doing that. I like to be like an ambassador for Israel, you know? Yeah, you, I, you are. Yeah, I try. I, it's a great place, so... We'll it's see easy. you in here like after you finish playing for us. Uh, we will send Landon. Yeah, he's got yeah. an Israeli passport, you know. Maybe it will happen. Yeah, he's uh, <laughs> he's got to grow a little bit. Right now, he's the 29th percentile for height and <laughs> the 27th for our weight. He's a little nugget, but he's athletic and he's yeah. fast. So <laughs> let's do the shooting challenge. Tony, yeah. are you You ready? I was born ready. You know, I was born ready. You got seven shots from where? Over here? From the stands. Okay. You got the balls. Yeah. You got the basket. You got your wrist going on, and you got, the and you got a fans, a little bit of fans. Okay. Okay. Seven shots. Seven shots. <sighs> First one. How about you shoot, I rebound and put it in. Does that count? No way. What do we get at the end of the year if, if you have the most? Um, that's a good answer, but you need... Okay, what about off the bounce? No, 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 no. Like, score before and then we'll negotiate. Let's go, Tony. How about off the, off the bounce and then in? No. Doesn't count. Doesn't count. I've never taken a shot from up here, so I don't even know, like, how I'm... You know? I'm gonna give you one warm-up. One warm-up? On the house. Okay. Let's, let's go. Okay, you got it? How, was that, like, three feet short? Yeah, something like that. Okay. That was one practice one, right? One practice, okay. not me. No, we no, should. No, no. Not a, not, not a great start, but I'm just, I'm, I'm just getting loose, you know? Let's go. Oh, 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 oh. That felt good, though. Just short. That one felt good. Did it look good? בואו נראה, זה קרבי, טוני גפני, קרוב. Get in closer. That one was good, טוני. חמישי, טוני גפני. אהההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההה
Better luck next time. Thank you, everybody. Uh, I really appreciate the questions today. Uh, yeah, I really appreciate all the questions today. I'm really looking forward to seeing all you guys uh, here on Saturday. And for the ones in Japan that can't be here, I hope you're tuned in for it because it's a big game for us and uh, it's a big game for all of uh, Hapol Tel Aviv. But again, thank you guys for your questions. Uh, and I look forward to Saturday. <laughs>